Welcome, everyone. I'm going to speak tonight about the major themes of my book, which is the depletion or disappearance of the world's vital resources, the resources we depend upon to support our modern <coughs> industrial civilization, and about the scramble to procure, to secure what's left in the world of those resources, and the human and environmental consequences of that scramble. And I will conclude by talking about what we might do about this global scramble for the world's last resources. That's the overall theme of my talk. But I want to try to demonstrate that all of these themes are part of a larger picture that is engulfing the world at this time. That the depletion of easy resources, the race for what's left, are part of a bigger picture, which in turn is responsible for a lot of what we're seeing in the world today. Of course, you all know that it's hot. Uh, this is one of the hottest years on record and one of the driest years on record. Many, much of this country has been declared a disaster area because of heat and drought. At the same time, we're seeing serious clashes, naval clashes in the South China Sea. Uh, we see talk of a possible war with Iran and overclosure of the Strait of Hormuz, of the oil spills in the Gulf of Mexico and elsewhere, debates over the Keystone XL pipeline and debates over hydrofracking, rising food prices. All of this, I think, is connected to a larger picture. And I want to put what I'm going to speak about in this larger context. And basically, what I think is that we're, we're entering a new world, and that that is uh, what I want to talk about. We're moving from one planet to another. We're moving from a planet of easy living, of easy resources, and of easy climate, to a world of harsh survival, where our basic needs will only be provided at great cost and at great risk. And to a great degree, I've been influenced uh, by my friend and somebody I admire a great deal, Bill McKibben. Um, he's written a book called Earth with two A's. He says we have to spell the planet Earth differently because it's changing so rapidly. Uh, he speaks, of course, about the impact of climate change. But I speak about the other side of the equation. Climate change is a product of what we do to the Earth when we consume things and we pour our wastes into the atmosphere, into the soil, into the water, and so on. Uh, what my book, The Race for What's Left, is about is about the extraction and consumption of resources. But the two, I think, are part of a whole. I describe this transformation as the end of easy everything. 